All right, guys, how you all doing? We have firstly Precision X1. This is the EVGA's uh, overclocking tool, and they just launched the newer version of that. And it looks nice, obviously, but the, the main theme is not here. The main theme is that it has support for improved compatibility with GeForce RTX 4090 series. By the way, let me tell you, EVGA literally cut ties with NVIDIA and they're not making any 40 series cards. But they do have support for uh, improved compatibility for 4090, which is kind of ironic. But I guess, I mean, if, that's kind of free to make this stuff, so... Yeah, they're gonna do that, but they don't really have any 40 series cards for, for EVGA, but they do have the overclocking tool for RTX 4090, any kind of RTX 4090, of course. So yeah, that's kind of interesting to look at. And next up, we have Omomomo underscore US sharing this information here. 7700, which is the non-XT variant, will be coming at 8 cores, obvious, and at 65 watts TDP. So yeah, I mean, that's... Isn't it obvious? Probably. Someone replied 60... Uh, $65, I don't think that would be $65. Of course, it's going to be 65 watts. That's more likely, you know, because it's a non-XT model. Yeah, very strange that they're bringing in a non-XT model for uh, a CPU. We've seen this for GPUs, but not CPUs. So yeah, interesting. Next up, we have Asus launching their RTX 3060 Ti with G6 memory. G6X memory, I should correct myself there. So yeah, this is the G6X memory, that is the RTX 3060 Ti, and it will, it will also have 4,864 4, CUDA cores and 90 Gbps memory speed up. So of course they are bumping up the specs a little bit. So if you look into the comparison here, uh, 3060 Ti, OC mode 1695 megahertz at boost clock and default was 1665. And the tough RTX 3060 Ti G6X uh, gaming, OC mode at 17,000 of uh, 1785 and the default is 1755 so a little bit boost here as you can see so very interesting that they're bringing in 3060 Ti G6X memory now like very strange but I guess it works they're moving to G6X I guess because it's more available makes sense next up we have something interesting RTX 40 series desktop and mobile yes the mobile is here I believe so this is the NVIDIA GN21X11 and uh, there's more GN21X4, X6, X2, yeah. So so what Copa 7 Kimi corrects this guy here, it, he claims that uh, NVIDIA GN21X11 is the RTX 4080 but Copa 7 Kimi is sharing this information that GN21X11 is based on 8103 so he thinks that it won't be RTX 4080. So what will it be? So, but we also have this leak here, which is very strange because he shares he's shared that it's not going to be RTX 4080. But this guy here, Rehawk, he's sharing this information: the GN21X11 will be RTX 4090 mobile. So very strange. Like there's a lot of uh, information going here and there. So I guess it's kind of hard to tell which one is correct. But this uh, leak is here. I don't know what kind of leak that is because it looks like it's legit. No. Could be wrong, but yeah, GN21X9 is RTX 4080 Ti mobile. X6 will be 4070, X4 4060 Ti, and X2 will be 4060. So yeah, there's a lot of information that is here and there. Not sure which to be taken as granted, but time will tell, I guess. And next up, we have Radeon RX uh, tweeting this here, and this is November 3rd. Yeah, they're going to be live streaming their, uh, basically, the... Uh, announcements for the RT, R, uh, not RTX, uh, RDNA 3 graphics, basically the 7000 series of GPUs in November 3rd. So stay tuned there, it's gonna be uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. So very interesting to see what they're gonna offer. Hopefully something great to compete against the at least the 4070, 4060 and 4080 because it seems like 4090 is already very good. But their 4080 and videos 4080 and 4070 might suffer in performance. So if AMD can pull out something great, then I guess they're going to win in that particular field. So we'll see. And lastly, we have something very, very spicy. And that is Radeon RX 7900 XT, which is the RD industry graphics card, right? Will be coming at 20 gigs of G6 memory. They're still not moving to G6X memory. Have you noticed? Interesting. So yeah, 20 gigs of G6. They're bumping up their memory. 
capacity. That's very, 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 I don't know, necessary, but cool, I guess. If you can provide that, I'm okay with that. So if you look into the specs here, this is the AMD Radeon RX 1750 XT. Again, this is the 50 XT. Uh, it's going to be, of course, uh, there are two process nodes, 5NM and 6NM. We all know what kind of um, you know, multi-chip module current kind of graphics card yeah the gpu wgb uh, wgps is r48 so basically steam for that stream processors would be 12288 so roughly double the amount of stream processors compared to the 6950 xt so that's a lot i have to say and yeah so basically the 7950 will be coming at 24 gigs that we already know now we also have another confirmation that it's gonna be coming at or probably a rumor i don't know but yeah 20 gigs of g6 so they're going with 24 20 gigs 16 16 very interesting i mean this is the 6950 xt hopefully the 6700 xt will be at 16 gigs hopefully the more vram the better you know and it will be coming at memory bus at 320 bits and the uh, memory clock remains the same 20 gigs uh gbps not gigs and the bandwidth uh, gets a cut down of 800 gb per second and of course the tvp will be at 350 watts the rest we do we still have to know like the pricing is still, still not here yet obviously they haven't launched yet but yeah 79 x uh, 7900 xt rdn the tree graphics will be coming with 20 gigs of g6x memory so they're pumping up the memory that's for sure hopefully the pricing won't be go higher and they shouldn't because obviously they need to compete right we'll see all right, that is it for today. What do you think about the, the 7900 XT coming with 20 gigs? Very interesting to see that they're going to be bumping up 20 gigs of memory. That's great to see for gaming That's or even for productivity. They're good, even though uh, RDN kind of sucks at productivity a little bit. But hopefully they will fix those. What do you think? Let me know. And of course, like, share and subscribe and have a good day.